Today, I'm going to show you how to create a repeating animation with Origami Studios. Let's get started. So if you're new to Origami and haven't used it much before, I really recommend watching my intro video into Origami. In that video, I go over the whole interface and how to get started with the program. To get started, I'm opening up a brand new origami file and setting the prototype to iPad. And I'm going to add an oval to the screen. So first I'm going to go over to this plus button and click it and then say oval and place the layer in the prototype. A circle appears on the screen with some default properties such as the width and height being 100 by 100. It's anchored to the top left area of the screen and it has a particular color. So I'm going to move the anchor position to be now in the center of the screen. I'm going to make some other modifications to this, but first I'm going to do the animation work. I'm going to double tap in this area and select repeating animation, and I'm going to place that patch on the screen. If you notice with this repeating animation, the progress is constantly being fluctuated between zero and one, and then going from one to zero. So we're going to take advantage of this progress information to modify this oval. So first I'm going to want to change the opacity of this circle to fluctuate. Basically I want this circle to pulse. I want the circle to expand and decrease in opacity. And I want this to be a constant loop that iterates in the prototype. So to begin, I'm going to take this progress and I'm going to attach it to the opacity of the oval. And now we see that the opacity of this oval is fluctuating between zero and one. Next, I'm going to take this progress and also attach it to the scale. So if I go under transform, I see scale as an option. I'm going to take this progress and connect it to the scale. And now the circle's opacity and scale are being modified. But this is kind of behaving in an opposite way than I would like it to. I would like the circle to expand and decrease its opacity. And currently, as the circle enlarges, the opacity is increased. So I want the opacity to behave in the opposite direction. I want the circle to become less opaque as it increases. So I'm going to include some math patches to manipulate the progress value so the prototype behaves in the way that I want it to behave. So first I'm going to search for the minus patch and there are all the basic math patches in origami. If I just type in math, you see like there's math expressions um, and all the basic values that you would expect to see in this. I'm not going to get that crazy and talk about arc tangent or anything like that. I'm pretty much going to stick to the basic math manipulation for this video. So I'm going to click the subtract patch and place it. Instead of the opacity being exactly mapped to the progress, I want the progress value to be subtracted from the number one, so that way it behaves inversely to what's occurring right now. So for this first value, I'm going to put one, and then I'm gonna attach the progress to the second value. And then the result of it will now be set to the actual opacity. So now, as you see, as it increases, it decreases in opacity, which is the behavior that I would like it to have. So basically, instead of the progress being 0.9 and the opacity being 0.9, now it will be 0.1 because it is 1 minus 0.9. Now with the transformation scale, this is a little bit small and I know I'm going to want to have a little dot on top of this that indicates the user's position. So I don't want the actual size of this pulsating animation to ever get to zero. So there are multiple ways that you can do this. I can add a plus first. So whatever is the progress plus a certain value will equal the scale of this. So maybe it really does start at one and it's the progress plus one would equal the oval scale. And you'll see how much this increases. That does seem a little bit big, so I'm actually going to decrease it and maybe make it 0.2. So it never actually gets to zero, but it does increase and decrease in size. 
I'm also going to want to amplify the effect of the progress. So maybe I'll add a multiplication symbol. And so then whatever this value is times two, let's say, would increase the scale of the oval. So now we have the addition of a value and then multiplying the effect, and then it's affecting the transformation of that oval. But this is also going from zero to one and then one to zero in a looped fashion, which I don't really want it to do. So right here, I have this modification of it being mirrored. So I'm going to uncheck that option. And now it just radiates outward. I can also change the duration. So it's a little bit slower and change the type of curve. So right now it's quadratic in out. I could change it to any curve that I want it to be. It's a little too slow, so I'm going to increase the speed of it a little bit. And now also I'm going to add a secondary oval on top of it. That's going to represent the user, so I'm going to add a secondary oval on top. So it appears as though this is radiating from that one location. So here I'm going to modify this and maybe make it an orange color. And then I'll also change the color of that larger oval to be the orange as well. So it appears as though it is radiating from that one dot. So that's it. That's how you can add a repeating animation to your origami prototype. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.